Viewer discretion is advised. Well, like one dude wanted this. So, starting now, here comes a rant, a Will's rant, I think we've been calling them. Uh, we are here today at the Everyday Gear offices, joined, of course, by Marsuk there, gently in the background. He's going to be trying to look nondescript the whole time. Uh, and, of course, uh, it's Will and Max, and we're here to rant. Uh, let's see, we've done 40. What else have we done? Which was all, everyone hated it. They loved that. You all really loved that I don't like 40. A tremendous amount. Uh, easily our most hated thing. If we had to have a most hated thing so far, it would be the 40 rant video. For sure. Uh, so today, we're going to be ranting. Uh, we, we just haven't had enough punishment. We figured we would uh, <laughs> <laughs> open Pandora's fucking box. <laughs> Wow, we just we love digging through comments about how much everybody fucking hated the video about forty. So today we're gonna talk about types of holsters that are fucking stupid. Uh, and I can't, I know that you guys can't wait. I personally uh, can't wait to hear what everyone who open carries in Iowa and works as a maintenance technician has to say about my opinions about holsters. But here we go. Uh, I actually have created a list, and we have a master plan sitting on top of a delicious plate of chocolate chip cookies. More shit for you guys to blow a shit about. Uh, and I'm not vaping anymore, but there is wood in the background for anybody looking for an easy, quick gay joke. Right there. Right there. There's a rip fence right there. Oh, man. Um... We have a list of, this is going to be holster types that uh, Will and Max think are stupid, or not useful, or used improperly, or stupid. Yes. In that order. <clears throat> so, do you want to go first? Do you want to pick yeah. an item off the list? <laughs> no, I'm picking the first one. Okay. Like shoulder holsters. Shoulder holsters. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unless you're, like, in Alaska, just, like, fishing or something. No. <laughs> Shoulder fishing? Holster. What does fishing have to do with shoulder holsters? Bears. Oh, beats. Beats and bears. Bear no, shoulder holsters are silly. And, you know, for the people that, oh, like, God. constantly have to wear a jacket to carry a gun because they have a shoulder rig on, to stop. It's fucking dumb. If for some reason, this is, I, I will give, I have a plan, by the way, so you guys know up front. I will be giving each one of these a devil's advocate scenario. Except with the exception of one, and you'll all like that one because there's a lot of you that have the internet that have that type of holster. <laughs> uh, I will make an except if you, for some reason, drive for like a billion hours a day, yeah, yeah I and you're that. allowed to carry a gun. Which, by the way, I challenge someone to find a job which mixes those two <laughs> things. If you have a CDL, you can't have a gun and cross state lines with it while you're making money in your commercial vehicle. You can't. Mm. So truck drivers can't. This doesn't work. You have, you need to be some kind of a like a taxi security company or something. If you have to drive a shit ton, it is easier, especially as, well, either hand, I guess, to get access to a gun from your armpit than from your dick or from your hip. Yeah. Fine. But, like, if you're just strapping a shoulder holster on to go to McDonald's, just... Fine. Honey, we're going to TGI's. Well, I gotta get the Galco on first. And just the guys that old... And every, everybody knows that old guy that has the two. I know a guy who has the two. They're two Smith 5906s that he carries. One in each side of like a Galco. Who cares? <laughs> and it fucking... Yeah, nobody notices that I have nine and a half pounds of fucking steel and aluminum strapped to the top of my body as I muzzle the fuck out of everyone who's ever kind of behind me. <laughs> Like, please, dear God, you can't draw that. Oh, I'm just going to rip my jacket open to draw. Yeah. And then, have you ever seen anyone practice reloading from a shoulder holster that has a magazine carrier? No, but no. I'm, sure, I'm sure, you know. I'm sure no one ever has practiced no, reloading. No, I'm shoulder. sure fucking Travis Haley can do it in Yeah, I'm sure he can. Half a second. He can also fly an F-16 and save this country. There, yeah. There's a lot of things that he can do. <laughs> 
But then you can't. You how are you gonna re? Shoulder holsters are stupid. So they belong in the holsters that are stupid video. You muzzle the crap out of people. The gun is oriented in such a way that you have to further cover and muzzle a bunch of things as you're trying to get the gun out. It's underneath your armpit. Like, mm, mm -mm, no. And you have to wear a cover garment. I knew a guy who said he wore one loose t-shirt. Undershirt, shoulder rig, t-shirt. I'm serious. That is horrifyingly bad. I... <laughs> Welcome to the Midwest. If Jesus. you don't live here, you'd be glad you don't. Did he, did he like, just fucking he didn't have Superman a game, it? He didn't have a fucking game plan. He thought that was the way <laughs> to... He didn't have a game no. plan? No. Um, I'm serious. I am 100% serious. Under, like, a hoodie or a shirt, he would wear a shoulder rig. Those level of people. And also, the number of people who own shoulder holsters compared to the number of people who own shoulder holsters made out of leather... Is very disproportionate. There are a lot of Uncle Mike's nylon rigs floating around this country. I found one today. I was cleaning out uh, the office here with one of my buddies, going through a Rubbermaid bin of just shooting crap that I've accumulated over the last however long. There was a nylon holster in there that fitted. I had a nylon shoulder rig for a J frame underneath a stack of mic cables in a Rubbermaid tub. There are a million of those. There are enough of those in circulation in this country to give one to every guy who thinks open carrying is okay. Yeah. And they probably all already have three of them. 